we're starting this video looking at the history view in RapidCalc, which stores 90 days worth of history. You can see that the entries are grouped by day. Each entry is a record summary. The basal or background entries have a blue background. The rapid acting or the bolus entries are in white. Looking at a bolus record, we can see our carb intake, the blood glucose reading, and the dose taken. To the right, we can see a breakdown of the suggested dose. In this record, the icon indicates an exercise adjustment. Other icons appear for hypos, alcohol intake, and estimated readings. You can also see the first line of any notes taken. I can drill down to see more detail on how a dose was calculated. The detail includes the settings that are in effect at the time, such as the correction factor or the carb ratio. You can add or edit notes for the record. You can't edit anything else in the record and I'll go on to explain why. If you make a mistake, you need to delete and re-enter the record. Because each record relies on information contained in the previous record to calculate the correct dose, therefore you can only delete the most recent record. To delete records, tap the edit button. Apart from the most recent bolus record, you'll notice that any basal or background record can be deleted because the basal dose values are not used in any calculation. Tap the icon to confirm deletion. You can also use the standard iPhone convention of swiping from right to left and you'll be able to delete the record that way. The history is your logbook and you'll want to make sure that it's safely backed up. Tap backup to create an email with your settings data attached. Simply tap on the attachments to restore them back to RapidCalc in the future. If you want to analyse the history data on your PC, use the export button. It will generate an email with your history and settings data in CSV format. RapidCalc already includes tools for analysis. This one view probably includes everything your healthcare professional would want to know. A couple of things worth noting are the blood glucose trend indicator, which compares your average reading from your current week with your previous week. This lets you know if your readings are trending up, down or are stable. Another key stat is the HbA1c estimate. Feedback from our users suggests that this is very accurate. You can have it displayed as a percentage, as I have, or in millimoles per mole. And here you can see the daily average uh, carb intake. If I want, I can also see a breakdown for the intake for each meal. Similarly, I can get more advanced stats on my blood glucose. And don't forget that all of this is covered in the help. The last thing I want to talk about is the charting, which helps you to spot trends and refine your control. What we're seeing here is all my blood glucose readings from the last 90 days mapped onto a single 24 hour profile. The green colour band is my ideal blood glucose range. The red areas are my hypo and ketone warning ranges. The red line shows my average blood glucose reading. Looking at my average at breakfast, I can see that it is above my ideal range. I can change the time frame to see if this is a short or a long term trend. Since my evening average is spot on, it suggests to me that I might consider adjusting my evening basal dose or the dinner carb ratio. And that rounds off our history and analysis walkthrough of RapidCalc.